Good morning everyone, this is Marco from Xcraft and I'm here at London City in our new Embraer E190 which will be part of our Egypt family by Xcraft that is currently in development. Uh, a lot of you have been asking what's up with the project, what's going on, how far did we get. So I thought I'd do a quick demo of where we are and show you the avionics power up, APU start and engine start all the way to be ready for takeoff basically. So I'm going to go ahead and um, get in the captain's seat. Let's do that. I'm going to move the seat so we can get in there. All right, cool. Let's do this. Uh, you may have noticed that we've got an EFB here, uh, which is a new thing. We'll have weight and balance, takeoff performance, landing performance, checklist, and ground services all in there. Um, we will, I think I'll also put it on this side so that the uh, FO also has one. So let's go ahead and turn on the batteries and establish the DC power. All right, you can see that this is all loading up now. One thing that's wrong, uh, it should not be happening as this is still work in progress, is the right MCU should not be turned on right now. On DC power, you only see the left MFD, the ICAST, the standby display, the clock, and the left MCDU. So we can see that uh, the standby display is aligning, that's all correct. Uh, let's perform the fire test. Actually, let's go ahead and look at the overhead panel. We gotta make sure that all the switches on the overhead panel are in the 12 o'clock positions, uh, which they are, except for the emergency lights and the elect electric pump A uh, on startup. So we that is all correct. Uh, Let's perform the fire test right now. All right, uh, looks good. Uh, let's have a look down here. Cool. So now aligning's almost done on the standby display, and I think we can go ahead and turn on the APU. So. Let's do that. Let's turn the APU to the on position, which we'll see an indication on the ICAS right here. And uh, after the flashing, after the yellow dashes disappear, we can actually turn the APU on after, uh, after about three seconds. So let's put it into in the start position, and now we'll see that the APU will start spooling up right here. can go ahead and turn the emergency lights to armed. There we go. And now basically soon we'll see all the avionics starting to load properly. Okay, we can hear the avionic fans and now the AC power will be established and all the other screens will pop up. And there we go. So now we have the AC power established. Now we can go and actually go into our systems pages here and we can now access all these pages Got hydraulics, fuel, electronic, electrical, okay we can see that the APU is on and running the ECS uh, and we've got anti-ice, alright I'm gonna go back to status uh, actually I'm gonna go to map, here we go, our beautiful new map Okay, the PFD is now loaded fully, uh, the IRS aligning is finished, and we can go ahead and turn our engines on now. So I'm just going to start with engine number two, I'm going to rotate this to the start position, and we can now see that engine two is spooling up. So as usual, if you need to, you can always uh, bring all of these screens forward as we always have on all our products. 
which I just find very convenient. So that's what I always skip doing. Uh, so go to ACAS right here. All right, the engine number two is, is, is pulled up. Um, takes about a minute. Let's start engine number two. Sorry, engine number one. This little red line here, the limit, is going to jump to this position. And at the same time we'll hear a click which will basically show or which is the sound of the reverser being enabled. So let's wait for that. And after that we'll know that the engine is properly spooled up. Ah, there we go. It's right there. Alright, so we've got engines running. Now turn the GPU off. Okay, the systems are powered by the engines. We can now turn off the APU in the off position. And now we'll see the APU is still running. There is about a minute of cooldown. We get APU shutting down right here. So do that. Uh, can show around a little bit. So yeah, we've got the EFB as I said, we'll probably put the EFB also on the other side. Uh, again, we've got the seats right here, you can see the cabin right there, we even have the cockpit door, we've got the jump seat. Let's go back to. Oh, okay, we can now see that the APU is shutting down and is pulling down. You can also hear vacuum and the APU being turned off, and it's nearly off now. I think we're pretty much ready for taxi. So what we're gonna do is press the toga button right here, which will bring roll and take off onto the PFD, and the flight director goes to 10 degrees, ready for takeoff. At which point we would start taxiing. We can release the brakes. We do not have a flight plan loaded right now. Uh, the FMS is still a work in progress. We have, we will have three FMS options for you. You can have the authentic FMS, which we're working on right now. We'll have the Tecton FMS, which has been adapted for the E-Jets. So anyone familiar with those, uh, with that FMS, can use that. And we'll also have the default FMS for whoever would just prefer to use that. So I'm just gonna. Right here, right. let's move the flaps. Flaps, let's do flaps one. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and arm the auto throttle. You can see that right here. And so now, once we move the throttles over 70%, the auto throttle will kick in and we'll start moving the throttles automatically. We'll release the brakes. Look at the top of the PFD, you'll see a bunch of 
the mode's changing as we're rolling down the runway. I'm gonna hold the mode for the other throttle and then track engaged.